Welcome to an action-packed episode of Olney Sunday League Cricket away at Luton Town and Indians, who play at the picturesque Edelsborough Ground. This game featured three balls for the first time this season. Magnus, Pat and Unavela ball. Unavela conveniently lost the toss and we were put in on a very soft green wicket. The openers got us off to a fast start before Paul edged one to Gully. The pace of the start was maintained as Pat joined Chatty and they proceeded to knock the ball around the ground with some stylish shots. In no time at all, Chatty brought up his 50. Which he then followed up with a 2.4 difficulty pike roll with half twist into recovery position. Yes, thank you. Chatty continued to plunder runs on the short boundary side before holing out to the opposition's best fielder. A great innings of 78 with a 140 strike rate. Pat, however, much preferred the 100 yard boundary on the other side to score his runs. Strong man. Soon after, Pat brought up his 50 with a sweep shot, celebrated by a beach seal on the far boundary. Inform bat Coggy contributed a quick fire 38 of 35 balls. Whilst Pat pulled one to a fielder, ending on 70. Oh, no. <laughs> this brought Ron Weasley lookalike Magnus and David Calypso Cricket Livermore together. After a couple of magic shots, Weasley apparated back to the pavilion. Livers, slightly more Darcy Bustle than Andre Russell, then chip one 50 metres short of the tree he was aiming for and got out. The skipper then came in and scored a slow fire four. Before missing a straight one, trying to launch it into the allotments. Showing true statesman-like behaviour, Ben Brown doffed his cap to his catcher. We continued to push for every run. Finishing on 267 for nine. <laughs> Magnus opened from the allotment end and got one to nip back and bowl the opener. He was unlucky not to get a couple more wickets as he found the batter's edge. Oh. 
Isaac opened from the shiny new 2.3 million pavilion end and continued to build pressure. Although some pressure was relieved with a shot into allotment number 32 with a ball, two pounds of potatoes and a cabbage were retrieved. This prompted a decision from the captain. Change of bowler! Zusta. Which quickly paid dividends. Where's Hasman? And so another decision was made. Change of bowler! Ben Brown! Red Cat Man resisted Owen's Big Stew death stare, he was running out of partners. Owen then took two further wickets to take him to 25 for the season, an equal top for the club with Toby. Unavailer then brought himself on to bayonet the wounded, which met with some resistance. Stop. Good to then see the senior players of the team showing the youngsters how not to get injured. That's for the highlights, Ben. With the ball lost in the hedge, Gallio told tales of his youth to some of the kids. The safeguarding officer has been informed. Isaac was having such a great time, he decided he didn't want it to end. But then... Red Cap was then out, bold red head caught red handed. <laughs> Hamish then mopped up the tail, one caught brilliantly by Ben Brown and the other bold to finish the match. Thanks to Luton Town and Indians for hosting what was a fun game and a great day out.